the correspondence that has been recovered by Judicial Watch shows that the Secret Service was ordered by higher ops by in the DHS and the White House to deny, not to deny me Secret Service protection regardless that the Secret Service had uh, produced a threat assessment that showed that I was at an elevated risk. What This is troublesome because we're living at a time when the federal, many Americans believe that the federal agencies have been weaponized for political purposes. And this is proof positive that that's happening, even with the Secret Service, which has always been sacrosanct. I'm the first presidential candidate in the history that has been denied Secret Service protection after requesting it. And there is no other. And it's been given to at least 30 times uh, other presidential candidates early, so prior to the 120-day day period. And, you know, when President Carter was president, and my uncle, my uncle and President Carter did not like each other, but when it became clear that my uncle was going to run, Teddy Kennedy was going to run for president, even before he declared, President Carter ordered that he be provided Secret Service protection because of the demonstrated risk to people in my family who are running for this office. And, uh, you know, my, my President Biden has a bust of my father who, uh, behind him in the Oval Office. My father was killed during a presidential campaign. And, uh, and that's why Congress changed the law to make sure that presidential candidates were protected before the nominating convention. And, uh, you know, it's clear the Secret Service clearly wants to give me protection. They're being ordered not to by the White House.